everyone. My name is Wei. Um, welcome to uh, NZ Wushu online course today. Um, so today we're gonna do the elementary Southern style. Also, I'm going to or try to describe all the movements and let you know the how to use the techniques. So uh, this is just for interest for people who want to learn. Remember the real meaning of Wushu is stop fighting. So try to not use all the techniques or anywhere else. No violence, okay? So what we're gonna learn is the elementary Southern style. Um, so there's some um, basic learning content um, that we can uh, share here with you. You can see the contemporary Wushu event Nanquan is, is a modern style, is a slightly different to other styles. Um, so actually, Nanchia, you can see a lot of uh, similar things from other style, such as um, Hongquan, the uh, uh, Wing Chun. I think some of you watched the Ipman. So there's uh, some hand techniques or stances or food works is pretty much similar. <clears throat> and um, actually, uh, the, right now, what we're doing the contemporary Wushu event Nanchian is a uh, is a modern style. What we do is a modern style is slightly different because we want to use um, you still can see a lot of um similar moves from other from changquan actually <clears throat> because we want to keep the traditional way to teach everyone and also you can see the the techniques when we were doing is pretty much similar okay so and so the this routine is designed for the it's kind of like a we're saying the beginner level but as a like an upper beginner level like an intermediate um it's better you already have some techniques um you already know all the basics then when you learn this routine will be much easier okay so this this elementary routine um so it's not that hard and also um it has that it includes the hand techniques for example, we have uh, punching techniques. We have a flat, uh, like a vertical punch, flat punch. I'll show you soon in the video. And also um, uh, different stances and two different kickings. Yeah, and some uh, knee rest balances, okay? And so this routine has four parts. So total 32 movements, okay? So each part roughly around like eight or nine movements okay so in each comp you in each um pass we will split to three combination then you can practice yourself later okay so what we can do um i think it's better everyone just to send up and have a warm up i'll give you four to five minutes you can warm up be prepared to stretch a little bit then we can start okay So now is, I'm going to show you the first part of the demonstration, all right? Okay, let's watch the back uh, demo. Okay, so this is the first part, okay? So um, start from now, I will introduce you all the hand techniques first. So there's a, there's a few, um, the, all the basics, hand techniques, and stances, and footwork. Okay, let's start from the hand techniques. Okay, so this is the fist, it's a vertical punch. 
Okay, remember when you do the vertical punch, okay? So your wrist needs to be keep it tight. Try to not tilt to the both way or up and down, right? You need to make it straight. And also remember your thumb as on the side of your, or use your thumb to lock your index finger and your middle finger, all right? Try to not okay, show outside like this. You're gonna hurt your, your thumb, okay? So that's the vertical punch. Yeah, and the horizontal punch. Okay, in this in the first part, this is all the basics we need to know. Okay, also the uh, pushing palm. And remember the thumbs on the side. And the palm thrust. Palm thrust. And really important palm tilt. The palm tilt, when you do it, remember you need to relax your wrist. You can practice on the side. Relax your wrist, then when you tilt, suddenly tight, right? So the palm tilt, you need to practice a, a bit more, then you will get used to it. Your muscle will get used to it to do it, okay? Palm tilt. Still, your thumb is on the side of your palm. Okay, this is really special for the people who has, who, um, who has done Chang Chuan, we haven't done this, is, um, the, the slice. Okay, this, this palm slice, where you do it, is a turn to the side way. Yeah, it's turn to the side way. Use your side of your palm to cut forward, to push it forward, okay? So remember, it's not the other way around, this way, right? It's actually, you just raise up your hand, you turn your, yeah, your palm to the side, to the outside. Yes, and use the side, slide. Yeah, forward. Okay. Okay, so that's the palm. Also, we have the tiger claw. It's quite easy to do it. Remember, just keep your fingers tight when you do it. And also the danju or single finger. Okay, so you may ask me why we didn't use this one because in the past, um, in Southern style, normally the fingers really important. For example, they train the fingers to make it really powerful, um, such as the tiger claw, because once you have enough strength on your fingers, when you grab, for example, people punch you, whatever, you grab as easily to grab, and you get more strength on your fingers, okay, it's easy to grab. And also, your fingers are gonna go inside your muscle to grab it. And what are they gonna do? They're gonna use the traditional way to train, for example, they use the some uh, sand or some beans, put it in a pot or a container, they're gonna thrust to make sure we have, um, you know, to train your their fingers to make it stronger. This is a way to, to, to train your fingers. For the single finger, because you use one finger to point, if you're really powerful, you can use the finger to attack the vulnerable pressure point, especially some vulnerable, um, vulnerable pressure point around your head your neck, yeah, stop the blood flow. Uh, so this is really harmful, okay? And also for this movement, for example, if they, you can, okay, you can you can train like this, for example, use your wrist, go down and go thrust, okay? down thrust. And you actually, this is a really good moment, yeah, to block and thrust, okay, use your fingers. Okay, now let's, yeah. Okay, now let's go, uh, let's have a look at the stances, okay? So in the first part, there's a few stances we need to do. First will be the horse stance. Okay, remember when you do the horse stance, your toes need to be forward. Don't turn your toes to the outside, yeah? So then it won't be balanced, all right? So, so your toes need to be forward and try to make your your leg, your, your thigh flat, okay? And to keep your back straight as well. Okay, whole stance. Okay, ball stance, the, the foot in the front, you can see, you're gonna point uh, facing forward and your upper body gonna face forward as well. Keep the whole leg straight. The leg behind, make it straight, okay? This is what you need to do as well, um, make it straight. And your foot at the back, 
So you need to tilt in to make a diagonal and use your heel to, to support you, to, you know, to support you to make it stronger, to make it stable, okay? Also back straight. And your side, you can say is flat. Okay, empty stance. This is a quite hard stance to do it. Um, so when you do this stance, remember the, the gap between two legs can't be bigger than one fist, all right? So between your legs can't be, yeah, bigger than one fist. You can train yourself to practice a little bit and sl slowly get down. You don't have to just fully get down one time. Slowly get down, all right? It's going to gain more strength on your leg. So, yeah. And also the leg in the front, um, the foot on the in front is pointing, a slightly touched ground. It's kind of like a 20% strengths on your foot to point to the ground okay and still keep your back straight if you can make your 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 legs your, your side to make it flatter that will be, be even better okay this is the goal you're going to reach to make it flat all right okay next one will be the uh we see diebu in chinese also we say um, single kneeling stance okay we do this stance really important thing as a, some common mistake is this leg. If you can say, you should, can you say make a 90 degrees? Yeah, start make a 90 degrees. Yeah, and also the other leg going on the side. So your knee is on the ground and your foot. Okay, now you can see it's make a 90 degrees as well. So this foot is really important. Imagine you kneeling on some person's or neck, so use your foot to lock the hip. Yeah, so that's the traditional um, techniques. The that's the, the the defensive techniques. So you're gonna use your foot to lock the neck. Yeah, so to make it more powerful. That's why your knee needs to be on the ground as well. It's not just your foot. Yeah, the whole full leg. Yeah, it's on the ground. Right. That's the kneeling stance. Okay, so now there's two foot walks we need to practice as well. So it's really important. The first one, I want you to practice a little bit yourself. Horse stance, transfer to both stance. So this stance is really important for you to gain more strength. Yeah, when you transfer as your from horse stance to both stance, you can transfer the strength easily. Now you can add the punch. You don't have to move a lot. Just punch and turn. You can see every time I'm trying to turn my stances, all right? Okay, you can see turn the, the foot. You also, your knee, your, your, your heel is pushing. Yeah, and then transfer the strength from your foot to your core and then to your shoulder, then to your fist. So this is a way to do the punching. So you need to finish it at the same time. Okay, so this is the movement you need to practice a little bit, all right? And now the dragon steps. So this dragon steps, for people who have done this, is a little bit hard. Yeah, you need to turn your upper body to the opposite. Okay. Yeah, and also I'll show the back view as well. One and two and turn and whole stance to both stance. You can see now you can use the stance here again. Now let's make it a little bit harder, okay? So this time we're gonna put the arms on. Two, three, and push forward. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay, very good, guys. Now let's move on. Now let's start to do the first combination. Okay, so remember in the beginning, we, we there's uh, some basics. First is the hand techniques, all right? And then stances. Uh, so we we had four stances in the first part. The first stance, horse stance, bow stance, second part. The third one is uh, empty stance and also the, the kneeling stance, all right? So, and also we have 
the hand techniques. Yeah, remember all those basics, okay? Okay, now let's do the second combination. So remember, when you do the second combination, um, you're gonna step to the to your left. So which means when you're moving, as one direction, all right, as going one direction, all right. You can see from the video, it's going one direction. Don't don't mix up with the uh, with the directions. All right. Okay, so in this combination, you can see there's the three, um, you know, four different hand techniques, right? So that's the tiger claw, right? Tiger claw and thrust, pushing and tilting and finger, finger, right? So there's a four different hand, te hand techniques. So remember when you do it, when you thrust, you really need to make it obvious or make the other V's go forward and drop your wrist down quickly, right? So thrust, drop down. You need to make this techniques of years, okay? This is the techniques. Thrust, okay, drop your wrist down while the arm, the fingers shoot up, same time, yeah? Okay, can you see, guys? Okay. Yeah, think. Imagine if someone's arms here. You wanna see? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the move. You see your wrist go down quick. Okay. Now let's have a look. The third combination. Okay. Now you can see here we have that techniques. The uh, this hand, the slice, hand slice, right? So you need to turn to the to the other way. Okay. Step forward, then slice. Okay, let's have a slow motion, right? Then you can try to follow, guys. Okay, some important parts, that's what we're saying. So transferring, the stance transferring, all right? So really important, you transfer the whole stance to both stance and also the dragging steps. So each every time you're gonna turn your upper body, okay? And your foot need to keep the balance as well. So dra important parts, dragging steps, then whole stance to both stance you practice yourself at home, all right? So next week, we'll do the second part. 
Okay, so that's for today. Really good. Okay, thank you, now Ryan. let's thank you. So now let's um, do the salute. Let's stand up. Let's finish. Yeah, let's stand up. Okay, yeah. let's finish. Okay, Jimmy. Jimmy. Okay, finish. Thank you. Ooh.